everyone, I'm Judith Jones, food and travel editor of the Gourmet Travelista, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a coconut date oatmeal. Fantastic. So we're going to need four dates, which we've cut into small pieces, one tablespoon of shredded coconut, one teaspoon of agave, one cup of coconut milk, one cup of oatmeal, and one cup of water, which we have boiling here in the saucepan. Now, when I do a serving for one, I like to use two parts liquid to one part oatmeal. So that's why we're gonna do one uh, cup of water and one cup of coconut. Now, this is a really tropical, sweet uh, oatmeal. It's, a, it's such a treat. You can almost serve it as a dessert at a dinner party. Uh, so we're gonna start with our oatmeal into our water. Now, I'm using quick cook oatmeal, but you can use any, you know, any that you like, steel cut, old fashioned, Obviously, cooking time will vary depending on which one you choose. But quick cook, it's obviously very simple and it'll take about one or two minutes uh, to do. So we've added our oatmeal to the water and now we're gonna add this lovely mm, coconut milk. This is nice and creamy and it's just gonna give the oatmeal such a wonderful texture and smell. Mm. Get that in there and stir it in. Wow, look at that. This is one tropical oatmeal for you, that's for sure. Now, you can add the dates uh, later after you finish your oatmeal, but I actually like adding them in when there's heat because it really just brings out that sweetness and they soften nicely. I'm gonna leave a few though to add at the end for the topping. So there we go, we'll add in our date and let it infuse there with the coconut. Warming up nicely. Wow, that's just such a beautiful dish. Okay, now we're going to add in our shredded coconut. That's going to give another dimension to your bite of oatmeal. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of agave nectar. Now, obviously, if you like it a little bit sweeter, you can add that. But dates contain a lot of sugar, a lot of dense sugar in there. So I don't like to add too much sweeten sweetener to the, uh, to the mix. So one teaspoon should be just about enough. Nice. Great. So that is boiling up. I'm just gonna give it a good stir. Oh, I could bathe in this stuff. So good. All right. Let it cook up there a little. Now obviously, if you wanna add some uh, nuts to the mix, that'll give it a nice crunch. Pecans would probably work really well in there, as would walnuts. Now if you like it a little bit liquidy, that should be good right there, but I like it just a little bit thicker, so I'm just gonna leave it to boil up there a little bit more. Perfect. So that is just about done now. Stir it all in. Oh. And we'll serve it up. There we go. Mm. Oh, that smells just terrific. Dates and coconut, it's such a wonderful combination. And so I'm just gonna garnish our uh, oatmeal with a little bit of fresh dates there. And there you have it. That is your coconut date oatmeal. Thanks for watching today, everyone. And make sure to subscribe to our website to watch plenty of other fantastic videos. And if you have any email requests, you can email requests at mahalo.com and we'll be sure to answer any questions and queries you might have. Thanks again.